Hi! Welcome to yet another edition of Anything But. I'm here today in this beautiful film set house down on our road uh, to meet its charming, uh, well known host, uh, my good friend Ashok Ferry. Hi Ashok, welcome hi, to our show. Hi, come on. Hi. So, we know that you've been doing lots of things. You went overseas when you were 8 years old to Africa, uh, then you went to the UK, you came back you were when you were 30, 31 years old. It's been a long journey, and Colombo and we know you to be lots of things. So, tell me, who is? Who is the real Ashok Ferry? If I answer that, we'll be here all night. <laughs> so you better not, you better not care what I have to say. Okay, night. tell me about your Thatcher years in the UK and converting uh, these houses. Um, it, it, was, it was lovely and in many ways it was the best time of my life because it was so unexpected. Okay. You know, you don't normally get or one didn't pay get Asian builders in those days. Um, that was one thing. Um, so that was, that was, and still today, I'm years later, somebody came to this house and, and, and they, they hadn't known me before. They said, we remember you, they said. You were, we used to call you the Packy and the Paddy. Right. Uh, well, I was the Packy and the carpet on site was Irish was the Paddy. So we were the Packy and the Paddy. You call yourself um, a failed builder. Why did you fail as a builder? Or did you um, fail as a builder? Well, well, I, I won't go into all that, but it's um, uh, um, yeah, I don't know. Well, it was funny. I think that's Converting funny. houses. What kind of conversion did you work? Victorian houses in the Thatcher era. Yeah, well, sort of, if you know, these Victorian houses are all pasted up against each other and each has kind of either three floors or two floors. So if it was a two-floored house, I turned it into two flats, the three-floored house, three flats. So in eight years, I did 84 of those. Yeah. And you were a bartender as well? That was before. What did that was while I was trying to earn what money. Actually, not bad. You should try my rum punch. It's pretty good. Okay. Now, this house has been a film set. Uh, we saw it blown up in Midnight's Children. What did you feel like when you saw that sequence of this entire house of yours has gone smoothly? Heartbreaking, heartbreaking. I, I was appalled when I saw it. <laughs> I spent 13 years building it up. You know, what you see today is not what, what it was originally, but, but anyway, it's a film, so she's allowed. So do you allow people to walk into your house, apart from uh, film crews? How public is your private space here? Oh, it's, it's very private, it's very private. This is probably the first time that I've allowed somebody to do to, to, to walk into your house. Be honest, thank you so much. <laughs> Ashok, now, uh, there's a misconception or a belief that Sri Lankan fiction is an offshoot of Indian fiction. But having said that, do, does Sri Lankan fiction have the potential to be a part of larger world fiction? Uh, absolutely. I think one of the problems is we, we don't have a critical mass of readers abroad. So, so England, America, Australia, big numbers of Indian readers, very small numbers of Sri Lankan readers. So originally, uh, um, for instance, when, I, when my first book came out, a lot of people loved it abroad, but they said, oh, we can't publish you. It's a niche market. It's money. It's money a question of money. It's a question of money. Yeah. So, uh, now, as a result, we are 20 years behind India. English writing in Sri Lanka, 20 years behind. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of catching up to do. What is the goal it has done? Huge, huge valuable. And truly great to Jeff, Jeff Rudolph for bringing it here because it's actually pushed us forward 10 years. It really has. And then as people begin to realize that Sri Lanka fiction is actually essentially quite different from Indian fiction, people will find it simply because it's different, not because it's Indian fiction. So we start off as being India light, it's a sort of Indian, very Indianish sort of fiction, but we end up as Sri Lanka fiction. Uh, I smelled it. Uh, Five really minutes sorry. away ago, actually. Um, Ashok, people have said that you are this very anglicized Englishman masquerading in a Sri Lankan car. I mean, you, Ashok Ferry. And? What do you say? What do I say? Um, what I think. How people perceive you, actually. Yeah, I think you can't. I think one of my real problems is that. People can't put me into, like, it's quite difficult to classify or put me into a particular box, you know? So, uh, I don't look like a pure mathematician from Oxford, I don't look like a writer, I look like one of the workers. Quite often, I don't, no, no, <laughs> I, I, I kid you not, quite often when I go to Odell and I'm sitting there signing books, it's people, come, just, uh, yeah, it's people come and ask me where the lavatory is. I get this time and time again, how do you think people do this? And then they, 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 they bad mouth me when I say, well, I'm actually the writer, I'm here to write books. It happens to me all the time. 
I remember once in London, I see my guy who lives very posh, uh, who worked very posh Lincoln's in Chambers, and I sat down, I greeted him for coming, I was in my overall with glass stain in my hand. And one of the senior partners came and said, Get off that chair! Can't you do some work? Don't you know you're, you're here to do some work? I think he was mortified when he realized that was a good time. So that's the, but I quite like that, you see, because then again you can slip out of the box of people. Just as people start putting into one box, you crept into another. Ashok, how would you best want to be remembered? Oh, come on. That's a really The multidimensional, question. the multifaceted, the, everything that goes to make this uh, uh, living, breathing human being here. Uh, perhaps, perhaps, as the man who escaped from his own books. You slid off the pages and got lost somewhere. Yeah. Between the lines. The character who got away. Wow. Okay. I'll finish my coffee and we'll meet you with sequence Y.